Okay, this video is going to be about calculating work. So the formula for work is work is force times distance, which is pretty straightforward, um, but there's a few caveats. So the force must be in the direction of the distance. What does that mean? So I'll show you uh, a few pictures of examples. So if we have a box and there's a force on it pushing it to the right and indeed it goes to the right then the force and the distance are in the same direction right and you're good you can have another situation where you have a force this way and the D is actually the other way so you're pushing it to the right but it's actually moving to the left Okay, in this example, you're going to get negative work. In the top one, we would get positive work. So it's just important to be mindful of the alignment of that D and that F. And if they're going in the opposite direction, make sure that it's a negative. You can also get situations where there is no for, there is no uh, distance. So if you're pushing against a wall, right? So we've got a force going this way. But the wall doesn't move anywhere, right? So the distance is none, right? Doesn't go anywhere. Then the work is zero, right? Alternatively, if there's a force and a distance, but they're not in the same direction, right? And the extreme example of this is if they're perpendicular, then there's also no work done. So one of the kind of classic textbook examples is if you have a waiter carrying a tray, right? The waiter's exerting a force up on the tray, um, but the tray is not moving anywhere. The tray is not not moving up, nor is it moving down. So there's no work in this situation. Now, if you want to get a little extra tricky, you can have the waiter start walking this way. So the waiter is walking to our right and the force is going up. But since these two uh, arrows are completely perpendicular, that is, the force is completely not in the direction of the distance, there is no work done in this situation either. And once we get a little further, we'll kind of go into what a positive work and a negative work would mean. But for now, we're just going to think about the rules using the arrows. So let's just do a simple calculation. So if we're pushing a box with a force of 10 newtons and we push that box with a force of 10 newtons for 2 meters, then we just plug it right into our equation. Force times distance, right? Are they in the same direction? Yes, so it's going to be positive. So you're going to get 10 newtons times 2 meters. That's going to give you 20 newton meters, right? 20 newton meters. Well, a newton meter is equal to a joule. And a joule is the, the standard unit for work. So newton meter is a joule, and we can write that just as a capital J. If instead we were pushing in the direction opposite of the movement, we would get negative 20 joules.